Subnautica is one of those games that I've attempted to play through on this channel like three or four times now and every time I get to a certain point and then I just give up for whatever reason. But I want to redeem myself in the eye of the almighty peeper overlord by completing this game and I'm gonna do it all in one video. So do me a favor if you enjoy this hit the like button that will let me know that you guys want to see more of this type of thing. Anyway let's get into it. Okay, we're coming to... Oh, great. The place is on fire. Fantastic. And I am stuck in a chair. There we go. All right. We freed ourselves. That's the first step. Okay, we probably got to put out this fire. One sec. Let's see. Fire extinguisher. Here we go. Okay, this is a stubborn fire. There we go. Okay. Are we good? I think we're good. I like how I'm just leaving this little escape pod, not knowing whether or not there's oxygen on this planet. I mean, there's water, so it's probably likely, but still. Okay, let's dive on in. As with every single other survival game on the market, our first step is to just run around and grab as much crap as we can find. Oh, hello. Uh-oh. I've seen this movie before. <laughs> Stay away. No. Get back. Oh my god, he's terrified. Ow. Okay, that really hurt. That was uncalled for. Lucky for me, this splody boy left behind some sulfur. Oh, a giant tube. Well, it looks like there's a good amount of stuff in here. I definitely overestimated my lung capacity and almost drowned, but luckily I made it to the surface. Now that I'm absolutely stacked full of resources, it's time to start crafting. So I crafted up a scanner and a flashlight. Then I crafted up an oxygen tank, and now we need to go out and look for some silicon. I swam all the way over to the kelp forest to get some creep vine seeds so we can make that silicon. Oh, hello. Please be friendly. With lots of silicon, we can now craft up some flippers, upgrade the oxygen tank one more time, and make the repair tool and survival knife. So the next thing is to use the repair tool to fix everything in the ship, including the radio, which will definitely have some use. This game is really realistic. You're able to turn these weird looking fish into bottles of water, which definitely lines up with the amount of microplastics in our ocean. I managed to find a fragment for a sea glide, which is going to be great once we get the other one. All right, sweet. We found the second one already and the first fragment for the mobile vehicle bay. I'm not going to waste any time. We're making the sea glide. All right, let's test this thing out, and it is pretty amazing. It just means I'm gonna be able to move around a little bit quicker and avoid enemies. After a little bit of grinding, I had everything I needed to make the rebreather mask. This will allow me to stay under the water for longer. Oh no, I think it might be too late to save. Oh, hey, look, a sea moth fragment. This is amazing. I'm so happy about all of this. Why did I come here again? Against my own intuition, I decided to go down to this spooky looking cave because I could have sworn that I remembered there was some sort of base down here that we can go inside of. I found some loot around the place, but no cool base to go into and unfortunately my lungs decided that hey we don't have any more oxygen left for you and you're gonna have to get to the surface somehow it was a wild race against my lung capacity to try to get up there and unfortunately it did not work and everything went black i woke up on my live pod feeling like a failure because i've literally only been playing for like 20 minutes and i've already died but it's all good we didn't really lose much I decided to explore around this massive wreck and found another Seamoth fragment, along with a laser cutter fragment and some other stuff. Oh, sweet. This is the last one I need, right? Awesome. All right, now we just need the mobile vehicle bay complete. And I think I need one more for that. I found this borked out sand shark, so my natural reaction was to just try to kill it. Unfortunately, it got free and swam away before I could do that. And now we have the laser cutter unlocked. Although I think I need diamond to make that and I have no idea where to find that. Oh, hell yeah. Sweet. This is the last one that we needed. We are in the money now. After a bunch of grinding and crafting, I was finally ready to make the mobile vehicle bay. Now that it's deployed, I can see exactly what I'm going to need to make the sea moth. Ah, uh, yeah, she do be expensive, though. I'm beginning to think that we are the lucky survivor. All right, so now we're ready to make the sea glide, and I'm so excited to get this thing up and running. So the Aurora decided to explode, which is kind of bad because now all the water nearby it is irradiated, which means they're going to need to craft a radiation suit. Luckily, I have all of the materials on hand, so that was no bother to make. All right, it's time to take the sea moth out for a test spin, and what better way to do that than to go to another distress call? On my way over to that location, I noticed that my sea moth was actually kind of struggling with this depth, so at this point, we're not actually able to go any deeper than 200 meters. 
meters. We're gonna need to get some upgraded little modules for this thing at some point, but I haven't found any yet and I don't know where to find them. All right, so it's time to check out this distress call location. Ooh, hey, look, a time capsule. All right, let's check this thing out. And did we get something? This was weird. Oh my God, ah, get off of me, you little turd. Jeez. What the hell? That's my blood. Looks like those little arm grabby guys got this dude too. All right, what we got in here? Oh, damn, that's a nice upgrade. Okay, we need to make that when we get back. After a little bit of exploring, I managed to find this alien vent. I don't know if it was made by aliens or the vent itself is an alien. I guess we'll find out. Oh, hey, look, another time capsule already. Damn, this one actually gave me loot this time and really good stuff at that. I managed to find one of the nodes that you can get diamonds from, but then I was getting shot in the butt by this weird prickly plant. So I decided to teach it the age old lesson of not bringing spikes to a knife fight. Okay, so now we have a diamond. We just need one more to make a laser cutter. And there we go, awesome. I went back to my base to craft a laser cutter and a habitat builder. We'll get to using this eventually. The next thing on my list was to go over to the Aurora and explore it. Stay away, weird looking alien creatures. Unfortunately, we're gonna need a propulsion cannon to get through here and I do not have that yet. I was heading back to my base as a failure and then, well, oh no, are you kidding me? I mean, I knew there was one around here somewhere. I just didn't know we'd run into it. Oh, that's terrifying. Now at this point, I thought that that little thing to my left right there on the ground was it, but I was very wrong. Oh, oh my, oh, no, 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 it's got me. Let go, please. Oh, okay. How do I get free? Uh, lights on, lights off. Come on, please. Just blind him or something, dude. Oh my God, please let go. Okay, we're free. Get out of here. Get out of here right now. <laughs> I thought that thing over there was it. I had no idea it was behind me. Oh my God. I literally peed myself. Once I got to a safe distance, I decided to repair my Seamoth and I found the last fragment that I needed for the propulsion cannon. Okay, so now we have the propulsion cannon. I think it's time to go over and show those boxes who's boss. Oh, hey, I guess we can bully these things now. Good, bad, and the guy with the propulsion cannon. I wonder how many of you will actually get that reference. Probably a good amount, I hope. All right, I think it's about time we actually get in here. First things first, we need to take care of this fire. <sighs> you guys are no fun. Okay, next up, we've got a lightsaber through this door. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, I found all the fragments we needed to unlock the prawn suit, which was awesome. Then it was time to check out the living quarters. Ah, fire hot. Okay. I found a ton of loot and lots of things to scan. I fixed a door to gain access to a different part of the ship where I managed to find a depth module for my Seamoth. Then I went into the drive room and found an engine module for a Cyclops. The next thing was to fix all of the breaches leaking out radiation into the water. Once we do this, we're not going to have any need for this rad suit anymore. After that, I went back out to my Seamoth to drop off a bunch of loot, and then I found a different entrance to the Aurora that I probably should have used in the first place. Oops. Eventually, I found my way into a hangar where I unlocked the Cyclops engine. Then it was time to leave the Aurora with all of this loot, while avoiding our little friend over there. Now that we have this new depth module, I think it's time to head back down to that spooky cave again. I managed to find the location of the underwater base and went inside to explore. I found a bunch of voice logs and things to scan, and a stasis rifle fragment outside. Oh my crap, that really hurt. These jellyfish are dangerous, man. I don't like that. After this, I learned of a new location that we can go to, but it's 500 meters deep and that is not a good idea right now. Next up, I need to collect some stalker teeth and the best way to do this is to pretty much get them to pick up metal and occasionally they'll drop a tooth. But these guys really hurt when they bite you. Since the very start, I've been getting transmissions from a ship called the Sunbeam and now they're coming to rescue us. So we have 40 minutes to get to a location where they're gonna land and honestly, I feel like this is not gonna turn out very well. But first, we do need to craft some enamel glass using these stalker teeth and some glass. I was on my way over to that location, but then I got a little bit sidetracked by this wreckage. I broke my way in and managed to find a stasis rifle fragment. That's the last one that we need, so now we can make that. Ooh. So I went back to my life pod and crafted it up, and then it was finally time to head on over to the island. We made it, but we're about 18 minutes too early, so I think we need to explore this place just a little. All right, let's check out the stasis rifle, and bam, okay, that is pretty cool, actually. This is definitely the type of weapon that you use on a leviathan. On my way up the hill, I found a purple tablet, and I don't even know what this thing does. 
It looks pretty though. This giant alien building looks insane as well. We can't scan any of it though. After a little exploring and fighting off alien creatures, I managed to find my way into this little cave. Looks like we're gonna need an ion cube to power this or something, whatever this thing does. All right, I think we should head back down and wait for the sunbeam because we're not really gonna need to do any of this if we're gonna get rescued. I found this really strange looking alien, so the natural thing was to stasis rifle it and then scan it and then get the hell out of there. It looks really freaky. The time had come and the sunbeam was about to come down to rescue me, but then the giant alien structure decided against that. Or IP Sunbeam and crew. So I think we need to investigate this giant alien building. These purple tablets are essentially like keys to get through these doors. This place looks pretty insane. Ooh, what does this do? Well, I found that ion cube that we needed. All right, here we go. What does an alien elevator do? And oh, that is just terrifying. I would not go on this in real life. They have a bunch of random stuff in here, like this alien rifle that we can scan but cannot make. That's unfortunate. And another ion cube, but my inventory is full and we can't drop things in here. And another another purple tablet. Same issue, we're gonna have to sort that out. I wonder what this is. Oh, okay, just keep that in the hallway, sure. That's not terrifying. Damn it, so we're gonna need that purple tablet to actually get through this door, which means that I need to leave this place to drop some stuff and then come back in, pick that up, and open up the door. Bit of a pain, to be honest. All right, there we go. Purple tablet in, and the door is open. All right, so whatever this is, it must be very important if they're gonna lock it away. All right, so we gotta hit like a button, I guess. Oh, okay, that's my hand. <gasps> Hello. Are you from Jabba's palace? Oh, that's a needle. Okay, great. Yeah, just take my blood. Sure. I mean, I, I didn't agree to this. I didn't consent. Just do it. It's fine. So it turns out that this planet is under quarantine because of a deadly virus. Hence the giant laser cannon. And I'm already infected with this disease. Great. We need to disable this weapon to leave or be rescued, so we're going to need to cure this infection. And I have no idea how to do that just yet. All right, well, let's put this ion cube in here and see what happens. Oh, whoa, okay, we got a giant portal of some kind. I think the only logical thing is to go through and... Oh, okay, yeah, this is a... Uh... Are we in the Matrix? Okay, yeah, that was a little bit trippy. Uh, okay, where are we? Oh, wow, okay, we're really far away from the sea moth, which is on that island that we were just on. Okay, well, I guess we gotta explore a little bit and see what's on here. While exploring around this island, I spotted some bases on the tips of these little mountains. We gotta trek up there to check them out. Okay, so it turns out that the Degassi crew actually lived here before they lived in that spooky cave area. All right, well, we should probably head back to the life pod. After a quick stop off at my base, I went over to pick up my Seamoth. I decided to explore around the region and I managed to find this pretty large wreckage. Naturally, I went inside and I found a bunch of fragments like this grappling arm for the prawn suit and these charge fins. Damn, that seems pretty useful, actually. Then I found a secret hatch on the ground, but to access it, I needed to move this panel. Ooh, alien containment tank, sweet. I was on my way over to another distress call, and then, well, ugh, that's great. Now I'm gonna have to sea glide my way home. I came back with a fresh power cell and we were on our way. But first, we should probably check this other wreckage on top of this giant mushroom tree. I managed to find all three modification station fragments in here, which is great. I made my way over to that distress call location and unfortunately I was too late. The passenger has turned into a fish. I finally found some fragments for the moon pool, which means that I should probably work on a base pretty soon. Oh, uh, what the hell is happening? All right, that's the last time I eat more of those colorful mushrooms. All right, here we go. Let's start building this base. I picked this area right beside the mushroom forest just because it seems like the water gets really deep down this way. And it's gonna be perfect for the Cyclops when we finally can make that. I spent a long time bringing all of my items over here and setting up the inside of the base so we have everything that we need. I built this vehicle upgrade console, and from here I can actually make a bunch of awesome upgrades for my Seamoth, like this storage module. I also built the modification station, and then I upgraded my knife to a thermo knife. This thing will cook fish if I kill them with it, which is just amazing. I also upgraded my air tank, so now we have a total of 225 oxygen that we can hold. It turns out I had all the materials on hand needed to upgrade my Seamoth's depth module to Mach 3. Now we can take this thing 900 meters deep. I went back over to my life pod to collect the last few bits of my gear, and I brought over my mobile vehicle bay. Yeah, these things float, so I can't really keep it down here. I got everything that I needed to craft up a prawn suit, so I went ahead and did that. But we really can't make too much use of this thing until I have some cool arm attachments for it. 
<gasps> oh my, okay, fair enough. Okay, I'm gonna stay away from these dudes. They are scary. I found exactly what I was looking for, the second drill fragment for the prawn suit. And then I found the reinforced dive suit inside of this wreckage. I stumbled into this creepy looking biome and found some blood oil. I had no idea at this point how useful this stuff would be, but we can use this to make benzene. So I made myself a drill arm for the prawn suit, but next up we have to make this grappling arm. And look, we need benzene for that. All right, one grappling arm coming up. Okay, let's take this thing out for a test spin. Please be kind, this was my very first time using this and clearly I'm not very good at it. It's gonna take some getting used to. The drill arm on the other hand is a lot easier to use and it pretty much just shoves all the material straight into the prawn suit as well, which is just amazing. Wow, that is all from one node. Pretty good. Oh, hey, look, we've got another little friend over here. I had no idea they spawned in this area. I think it's about time we finally check out this other Degassi base. Oh, hello. And oh, did he just blow up my electronics? Was that an EMP? I think that was an EMP. Oh, okay. Now I'm being teleported. Okay, everything bad is happening right now. I don't appreciate that. You guys are teaming up on me. I was trying to search the inside of the base, but kept getting bullied by that warper. Oh God, dude, leave me alone. No, look at you. I found another tablet in the base and this one's orange. Back at base now, and I think it's time we make this reinforced dive suit. I was on my way to another distress call when I discovered these different types of mushrooms. We can use this to make hydrochloric acid, which is then used to make polyaniline. Uh, okay, so we got a ghost leviathan up there. That's a little bit spooky. Yeah, he is really freaky looking. Back at base now, and I had to do a little bit of expanding, but now we have space to make Make an alien containment tank. Oh my! I had no idea he was there. That was... Oh, that could have been so bad. Does he not care about the prawn suit? I feel like he was way more aggressive before when I had my sea moth. There's something weirdly menacing about my shadow on the wall right there. I do not look right. I did some more base expansion because I want to have a full-on dedicated room to all of my item storage and crafting benches. It's about time we fill up this fish tank. Ah, look at all those peepers. I think they can breed while they're in here as well. I'm not really sure though. All right, well, there we go. We've got everything in here and it's all organized. All right, we're going to do something really risky and really stupid. I want to scan this Reaper Leviathan. All right, here we go. I knew this stasis rifle would be good for something. Uh, can I get back down to my Seamoth? I don't know how much time is left on that. I think it, does it have to shrink fully? I'm just going to wait here just in case because I don't want to get eaten. Okay, I definitely did have enough time. That was really stupid. Uh, oh, okay. Please let go of that. Uh, it should be fine. I mean, it was like fully repaired, so it should be okay, right? Uh, uh, did you? <laughs> I'm so stupid. Seriously. Oh my God. I feel like such a numbskull. Are you kidding me? It's gone. He destroyed it. It was fully repaired. Oh my. I'm so annoyed right now. Where's my modules? Not only did I have to make a new Seamoth, but I also had to remake all of those modules, which is just such a pain. Play stupid games, win the stupid prizes. Don't worry, I've learned my lesson. Reaper bait's a fitting name for the new Seamoth. It's about time we make the Cyclops submarine, and oh my god, this thing's gonna be so cool. It took me longer than I'm willing to admit to actually find the entrance to this thing. It doesn't come with a manual, okay? All right, let me give you the tour then. So down here, we got a bunch of lockers. They don't have a huge amount of storage, but it's still good. If we head up these back ladders it will lead us into the engine room and we got a bunch of power cells powering up this thing and a decoy launcher tube over here we've got the section where we can put in our upgrades and this is an area where you can load in your seamoth or your prawn suit oh yeah this is awesome so we've got a bunch of little interface controls right here so that's how we turn on the engine uh, we've got a little map there we've got silent mode here and we have three external cameras that we can switch into and switch between it's even got a horn Oh, and it has its own little fabricator where you can make the upgrades. I spent a couple minutes getting everything needed for all these upgrades. I went back over to this abandoned base because I'd already started editing this video and I noticed that I missed something. I've seen this little guy and I'm so excited to hatch him. I found this creepy biome on the edge of that area. Creepy was the right word. Look at this giant skull. More alien stuff down here, so there's probably a base nearby. Found it. And I did not bring my orange tablet, so I guess we'll have to come back. Ooh, sweet, some nickel ore. We haven't gotten any of that so far, so obviously this is where you find that stuff. I did some more exploring, and this time I managed to find a full skeleton. This thing's gigantic. Oh, great, there's a ghost leviathan. I found a bunch of crystalline sulfur down by this cloudy stuff, and yes, this stuff does hurt to touch. I went back to base and dropped my little egg friend into the aquarium. Then I used my newly acquired nickel to make a depth module and a jump upgrade for my prawn suit. I keep getting these prank calls on my radio for some reason. I went out exploring on my prawn suit and jumped down here 
here i had no idea i was jumping into an endless void so i'm lucky that i didn't go too far down goodbye little guy with the help of my jets and the grappling hook i managed to get free only to see this reaper absolutely demolish this warper i had no idea they fought each other oh i just realized our dude's probably hatched oh there he is oh my god he's so chubby but so cute look at him I'm going to name him Jeremy. So I released Jeremy just outside of my base and we can play with him whenever we want. This thing is so awesome. Honestly, I would die for him. I really would. I loaded the prawn suit into the sub and took it out on its maiden voyage. And of course we got attacked by a reaper leviathan on the way over. And another one. I didn't realize there was two around here. We got a couple leaks in the sub from that attack, so I have to go outside and fix them. I brought my sub all the way over to the entrance to that cave where we can get down to that super deep area, but I don't think it's gonna fit through the hole. For the moment, I think we'll just bring the prawn suit down. I unlocked the door using that orange tablet that I found and went inside to find a bunch of bones, another cuttlefish egg, and a bunch of ion cubes. Then I went into that other area with the giant skeleton and almost immediately got attacked by this ghost leviathan. Luckily, the prawn suit is able to handle itself and I just absolutely drilled the crap out of this thing. That's right, you run away. Fear the prawn. Using the prawn suit, we can go underneath this layer of what I assume is like sulfur and drill a bunch of these nodes. I went back up to my sub with a full inventory of these special materials. I found this sea dragon skeleton. Well, at least most of it. And then I stumbled upon this sunken alien base. So this is a sea dragon egg, so I'm just gonna assume that dead sea dragon out there was probably the mother. These aliens were clearly up to something in here. Oh yeah, some freaky stuff went down in here. I unlocked this other door with a purple tablet and collected some knowledge. Okay, so it turns out my infection's getting a little bit worse. We gotta cure this soon. Oh, hey look, an even deeper area. I guess we can take a little look down here. Ooh, is that what I think it is? That is a material that I don't know what it's called, but I know I need it. Kyanite, there we go. Alright, let's get some of these. I'm getting really close to my maximum depth here, so we should probably not go down any deeper. Oh, no way. Is that what I think it is? Oh, yeah. That's what you get for messing with my sea moth. A thousand years ago, apparently. Also, this is not the way that I came in and I'm kind of lost, but I don't know. Maybe it's okay. I decided to bring some plants back from my aquarium, but it turns out I gave all my fish ligma. Yep, we needed this kyanite to upgrade the depth modules on both my prawn suit and my cyclops. I had to bring my cyclops really far away to try and find a different entrance that it can actually fit into. Luckily, this tunnel system eventually led me into the lava zone. Oh my god, I think that's a sea dragon and it is gigantic. How am I gonna get through here? Like what? This thing's so big. All right, play it cool. Maybe he won't see me. I'm on silo. Oh my God, evasive maneuvers. Oh God, <laughs> no. In my panic and stupidity, I completely forgot that I have creature decoys. Is that a baby? I think it might be. Does he have like a little baby in here with him? Oh, no, let go. What? No, okay. Are we good? What the? He just smacked me. Oh, no, my submarine. Are we actually going to lose this thing? Are you being serious right now? This thing's terrifying. How do I get away from him? Oh, no, he's bumping it again. Just little love taps, hopefully. Oh, crap. Leave me alone. How do I get away from him? I'm so confused right now. All right, we got to fix the damage. And oh, my God, everything's gone bad. Whoa! Whoa, dude, that scared the crap out of me. No, that's not okay. Leave me alone. I also noticed all these leeches, by the way. I just didn't know what they were actually doing. All right, good enough. I managed to find this little entrance over here. Oh my god, why is there a sea dragon in there? All right, let's take the prawn suit in here to explore. Oh, there we go. Another gigantic base. Oh, oh, seriously? Leave me alone. Come on. Okay, so I found the entrance. What the hell is that little thing? Is that a robot? Oh, it actually is. No way. Die, little innocent robot. Nah, <laughs> I made him explode. I had no idea my prawn suit sat down like that. All right, purple tablet in. What do we have in here? A purple tablet for a blue tablet. Interesting. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, yeah. It's you again. We must be getting close. Whoa, what is this? Ion cube? Oh, okay. I guess we could just harvest up a bunch of them from here. All right, so we got another teleporter here. There we go. Before heading through, I decided to do a little bit more exploring. Unfortunately, I don't have any more purple tablets on me, so we're gonna have to make some. All right, where does this lead me to? Uh, another alien base. Oh, okay. This is the, uh, the place with the gun, right? I decided to explore the caves on this island again because I know you can find diamond in here, and that's one of the ingredients for a purple tablet. All right, we got a bunch of diamonds now. Let's head back. I went back down to where 
where I left my prawn suit, but it wasn't there. I even went back through the footage of when I hopped out just to confirm that I wasn't being stupid. It's weird because I didn't even close the game or anything. I just went up the hill. At this point, I did close the game just to see if that would fix it, but actually that just made it worse. I had to do a little bit of cheating just to confirm that my prawn suit was still in a place that we might be able to get it. And luckily it landed in this weird little cave down here. I went down and got it. And then we found a purple tablet down here. How convenient. So I went back through the portal at that other base and then unlocked the door with that brand new purple tablet. Man, this room looks insane. So supposedly there's another base down here just southwest of this one. And then we unlocked the ion power cell and ion battery. I went back to my Cyclops only to find that the whole thing was out of power. At least I was smart enough to store some extra power cells down below. I made a couple extra tablets just in case I need them. Then I realized that these little leeches have been eating the power off of my sub all along and I feel really stupid. I searched around a little bit for that next location and I think I found it. I am what you seek. Want to help. Yep, this is definitely it. Where do these things keep coming from? I definitely can't fit that sub through here, so we have to use the prawn suit again. Oh, great, another sea dragon. That's not good. I hope I can get away from him with this thing. Okay, he's far enough away. I think we might be able to make it to this little base. All right, I did it. Sweet. Oh, I'm so glad that I made a blue tablet. I had no idea I'd need this, but that's great. Ugh. Oh, dude, that scared the crap out of me. That's not okay. All right, more alien treasures, including a sword from Earth. That is actually pretty cool. There's a bunch of doors in here, and I found a portal in one of them. All right, let's just check what's on the other side. And we are in a cave. Okay, cool. Let's go back. I went through another door and found a really crazy tube system where it just pumps a bunch of peepers around the map, I guess. Maybe this is where those vents led. All right, another portal, and it leads to another little cave. I didn't really feel like checking every single one of these doors so i decided to just go for the main one at the center and for this we needed a blue tablet it led me into this room here and i honestly tried to get up there but ended up just falling into the water which was actually where we needed to be oh my hello were you the one calling me are you so it turns out that this sea empress has been trapped inside of here ever since all of those aliens died off and she's got a bunch of eggs that she needs my help to hatch. She needs me to make this hatching enzyme so her young can be born. I feel like I know where to find most of these things except for the sea crown and the fungal sample. She cleared all the sand off of this portal so I could use it to get outside. Okay, I admit, I did look up where to find the sea crown and it's actually inside of this little chamber that she's in. And for the other four plants, we need to head through those little portals. I collected everything I need, then I went back through the mushroom forest portal to go back to my base to craft it. One hatching enzyme, please. I traveled all the way back down to the Empress to use the enzyme. All right, here they come. Oh, man, look at those little things. Oh, that is so cool. I'm a dad. All right, son, let me scan you real quick. Unfortunately, the life cycle of this Empress is now complete. She's gonna go to sleep and never wake up. This seems like a bad time to make this joke, but I guess I'm a single dad now. The baby seemed to be puking up this gunk and it cured my disease. My children are now free to roam the ocean. I'm not cleaning that up. All right, well, we're right beside the gun base, so I think this is the perfect time to disable it. All right, hello again. Oh man, that needle, man. Here we go. Go on. There we go. Okay, yeah. Thank you. And now the weapon is disabled, which means I can leave this planet. You may be wondering how that's possible. Well, I actually got a transmission a little while ago from Altera. They sent the blueprints to make a rocket to get off of this planet to the Aurora. We have to go into the captain's quarters, so they gave me the code for that door. All right, here we go. The Neptune escape rocket. This is such a big thing to build, so you kind of have to build it in stages. The first thing is the launching platform. Next up is the gantry. After that, we've got the boosters, then the fuel reserve, and then finally the cockpit. All right, here we go. We got to turn all of these systems on. Hydraulic system, communications array, auxiliary power unit, the CPU, the life support system. And the last thing to do is set up the time capsule, but we're going to need some cool stuff to put in there. Unfortunately, Jeremy can't come with me, which means we're going to have to say goodbye. I'm really going to miss you, little guy. I don't know why I'd be doing this, but whenever I find these nutrient blocks, I've just been keeping them and not eating them. So I figured I'd give a six of those to whoever finds this time capsule, along with an image of Jeremy and a very important message that everybody should listen to. All right, it's finally time to leave. Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Launch in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
Approaching orbital debris field. Orbital debris field clear. Performing gravity turn maneuver. Confirm destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Engaging ion boosters in three, two, one. What is a wave without the ocean? A beginning without an end. They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sand. We are different, but